Welcome back to my channel, so I'm back with a review and this time with Easter fastly approaching I thought it's time that I get this video out there now because I mean I've been searching for my perfect Easter egg since at least the 2nd or 3rd of January when they hit our stores I mean it's took me a while to find the perfect one I mean if you've been watching my channel for a while you'll know I've done uh, the Marmite Easter egg the cheese Easter egg cheese delicious Easter egg actually and I also made my own last year so that's free brilliant Easter eggs that I need to top. But when I was in my Audi today, I mean, not in my Audi driving, but in my local Audi store, I spotted this little beauty. I mean, if you know me, you'll know this is right on my street and you'll know why when you see it. And here it is, a Just Gin Easter Egg. Now, I can believe my eyes when I've seen it. An Easter Egg with gin. Perfect. And uh, what also would be perfect, if it actually tastes like gin. Now, we know it's white chocolate. So what we've got, we've got a hollow white chocolate egg with dried gin, juniper flavor, hand decorated with edible lust. Now, lust, I believe is a sort of spray or powder what gives it a little shine so it gives the chocolate a little shine uh, it's also from the Mossa Roth company and they're a German company which uh, produce chocolate just for Aldi yeah it's a little bit of useless information or useful information you may say so before we taste it let's have a look at the ingredients so we've got white chocolate, obviously, 96%, which is not bad. Well, it's only 4% off, 100%. <laughs> uh, sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, emulsifier, sugar, vanilla extract, and now the important thing, the gin. Now you can see that there, gin powder, See that? Two percent. So it has got a little bit of gin in there. <sighs> right. One last thing to do, and that is to taste it. I don't want to ruin this box too much. Plenty of protective packaging. And here it is, a gin Easter egg. Now it's got a nice little shine to it, like I said before, with that lust, lust. It gives it that shine. It's like funky design, isn't it, really? Now, normally we'll uh, smash into it, but let's, let's be uh, elegant about this. Just take a bite. No. Cut it in half. I don't know. Smash it. Mm. I'm going to try and cut it in half. That sort of works. Wow. Well, let's give it a taste. I mean, I'm not going to eat the, the whole of this, hence why I only tried to cut it in half. But yeah, that is really nice. That white chocolate is good quality. It's not like your milky bar anyway. But you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Yeah. Can't taste much gin. I think I just need another taste. I mean, the quality of white chocolate 
is really nice. It's not like your regular Milky Bar, trust me. Because if it was, the Milky Bars wouldn't be on me. But gin, there's not much gin flavour coming through. But it definitely is a good quality Easter egg. Now gin, there's only 2% in it anyway, so what am I expecting? It is Easter egg. But as an idea, it's great. If you know somebody who loves the gin, like I do, great present for Easter. Now you're probably wondering how much does a gin Easter egg cost you? Well, if I told you it was a grand total of 4 99 you'd say, nah. I'd say, yeah, what a bargain. For a gin Easter egg, can't be bad, can it? I mean, it's got 2% gin. I can't really taste much gin in it. You might be able to give it a go. And if you do buy it or get it for a gift and you think you can taste the gin, let me know in the box below. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop this back in the box and probably give it to someone for Easter and save myself a few more quid. <laughs> I'm only joking. <laughs> so, I hope you all enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And also, if you're new to this channel, smash that subscribe for more. I hope you all enjoyed the review. Maybe I'll be back with more gin-related reviews soon. In fact, if you know me, you know I will be. Thanks for watching. See you soon.